Hey guys, so it's kind of late and cold, but I wanted to show you guys really quickly um, what I won from CoverGirl. They had a contest contest on Instagram um, for their Pitch Perfect 2. Let's see. Uh, I have their letter thing. Uh, yeah, Pitch Perfect 2 Social Sweepstakes. So it says, congratulations again. As you know, you have already won CoverGirl product bundle consisting of one lip lava, one colorishes lipstick, one bloom mascara, one uh, OL nails, one ingot eyeliner, one shadow quad, and one perfect point. So... Yeah. So they sent me this little letter thing. So that's what I want. So, uh, three of these I'll probably not really even use that often. Well, I take it back. Two I probably won't. But their full lash bloom mascara I've never tried before. I've tried their other mascaras. I'm just going to show you real quick. This is what the wand looks like. So it's kind of... It's like a normal... It reminds me of another mascara I've had from them. Like the same wand and bristles. But I have this in very black. So it's always good when I get new mascaras because I use them so much. Even though my lashes are naturally long and look fine. Um, okay, so the next thing they sent me was the CoverGirl Outlast, Outlast Stay Brilliant Nail Polish in Red Revenge. The color I have on my nails is mint from LA Colors. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, they sent me this red... I used to wear red nail polish a lot. I don't know how well CoverGirl nail polishes work. I don't think I've ever had CoverGirl nail polish before. So it'll be interesting to try that maybe whenever I decide to stay away from green. Um, this I've had before in the same color. It's their Perfect Point Plus Mascara. I liked it a lot because on the end it has this little smudgy sponge and actually the sponge is a lot softer than it used to be the first time I bought this like the sponge wouldn't even budge or anything and now it, I guess they softened it up um and then as for the color and the line it's good it's not as uh harsh and it draws on fairly easily um and blends but uh, I use this for forever until I found their Ink It eyeliners, which I, <coughs> so sorry, which I prefer better. So I have their Ink It eyeliner in black ink, and they sent me one in aquamarine. I don't wear color eyeliners, but I'm going to, um, probably wear this sometime. I don't know with what. Um, unless I just do, like, teal or aquamarine eyeliner. But these blow on so smoothly. They draw like ink. They're so, um, what's the word I want to say? Creamy. Um, and this one kind of looks a little bit metallic when I swatched it. Next, they sent me this CoverGirl lipstick in Succulent Cherry, which is a very like red orange color it goes on pretty sheer but I'm not really a red orange person I'm too pale for like red oranges um, so this I might not wear that often and then the other thing was the cover of a lip lava in look it's lava and this is like a really sparkly 
pretty fuchsia pink, but it's way too bright for me. So, the last thing they sent me was the uh, CoverGirl 1234 quad in Notice Me Nudes. This I'm going to use a lot because I love nude eyeshadows. So yeah, alright, bye guys.